Hey everybody, it's me, DioGenZ, here with another edition of Pokemon of the Week. This week, we wander into a tomb to find Cofagrigus and its Trick Room set. Now this, the way that its stats are set up, completely asks to be a wall at some point, which we will get to. But, take a gander at that speed stat. Pitiful 30. I guess ghosts that have been locked down to a sarcophagus are also clamped down on their legs. They're slow. So to overcome this, you'll need to attach Trick Room, or previously, before sending Cofagrigus out, set it up. Now the way that Cofagrigus works in gameplay is that most likely you're going to have this come out as a switch. Since the UU territory is full of fighting types, this is the perfect poke to throw out there to nullify whatever they do. And when you have that perfect switch, when you can make that prediction that fighting is the type that will be on the way, you can trick it up with Trick Room. You'll get a free switch, and you won't have to worry about setting it up beforehand. Because for Cofagrigus, it's really meant to be a spiteful little bastard. Even its ability Mummy can overthrow enemies that depend on their abilities too much. What Mummy does is if it's attacked, it will make the opposing poke's ability mummy as well. So the mummy virus spreads. It's the curse of the mummy, some would say. And with only two weaknesses, you just have to be sure that your opponent doesn't have something on that fighting type to immediately retaliate against Copagrigus. Gotta make sure you're not out predicted, but do keep in mind, sometimes it's best to just act rather than think of what could happen because most likely it won't. Now when you are on the field and you've set up your trick room so Cofagrigus will go first, you'll want to after that set up Nasty Plot just to boost the already pretty acceptable 95 base special attack stat. A bit of a shame but still acceptable considering the niche that Cofagrigus holds here in the UU zone is that it has a shallow move pool. So what you see right here is very much what you get. There's not that many other alternatives I would put on this set, obviously, because the additional moves are not filled out more than Energy Ball. So if you think of any other possible way to mix up its set, please post below. But for the moment, we're going to move on to the defensive outlook of Cofagrigus. Remember when I mentioned that your opponents will be riled up in rage over the annoyance that this thing will provide? Well, this set really epitomizes that in the Callus Sarcophagus for Cofagrigus. And I realize I'm probably saying his name wrong. It's Cofagris or something, but whatever. Giratina, Giratina, Tomato, Tomato, it does not matter. But what does is making this thing a physical wall. Its base defense of 145 definitely deserves to be maxed out at 252 in the effort value zone. Now with hit points, you definitely want to maximize those because that's the one other kind of minor eh thing about Cofagris, Cofrigris, Cofrarigris is that besides the shallow move pool, it also doesn't have that much health. So if it is hit with something super effective, be on the lookout for any ghost or dark type, and oh, be careful of pursuit. Sometimes if you do see a dark type move coming, but you know it's pursuit, it's better to stay out on the field, take the damage, and just do whatever damage you can with Shadow Ball. But in this set, we don't focus on the special attack stats, so that is really just there to prevent it from being taunt fodder. With Will-O-Wisp, you can break down walls and also diminish HP. Pain Split will allow this mummy to make it stand over and over again, especially when combined with leftovers, because while it doesn't have a lot of health, it loves to share what little everyone has. Knockoff can eliminate the threat of choice banded or scarfed pokes if you have the ability to get there before you are destroyed, because do keep in mind, without Trick Room in place, you're back down to that 30 base speed. It's something important to forget. Moving from one set to another, you don't have the attributes of the first. However, however, perhaps you would say, you know what, maybe I don't need Pain Split. Maybe Trick Room would be 
more beneficial. And you could do the same sort of switch-in scenario where there's a fighting type and you know that it's coming so that you'll get that free trick room up. Or set it up before Cofagris goes out. Cofagrigus, see, you got me saying all the possible pronunciations. But the point is, look at how obnoxious it is. You can take away your opponent's item. You can disarm their defense. Take away their health slowly but surely with burning damage. And disarm their ability on top of that if they try to strike back. That's what makes Cofagrigus one of the greatest ghost types of the UU tier. I've been Dio Gen Z, reminding you to subscribe to Planet Poke for all this and other awesome Pokemon created content. And if you're curious on how to raise these effort values, this invisible stat set in the game, I encourage you to check out my effort value expertise guide, which will tell you exactly how you go about doing that for really any game, although it is specifically for the Heart Gold Soul Sil Silver series. It has the mechanics that apply to all across the spectrum of colors and X's and Y's and other diamond and gem Pokemon titles. So check that out, and I will see you next week. Oh, yes, and before I forget, speaking of CU, that reminds me, I'm back at CU, uh, University of Colorado in Boulder. So that means I am back to my computer inbox, and I am taking your sets once more. So if you would like to send your suggestion for next week's Pokemon, then head over to my channel, youtube.com backslash DOGenZ. Send me a PM with the title in the subject, whatever the poke of the week will be set, and I will see it and you will be a star, or at least help us out and make Planet Poke go far. So, for real now, I will see you in the future.